Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your January 2018 monthly reading. This is intended to be a general reading for a general audience, so we will see what comes up. This is not a private reading, so uh, if it doesn't resonate, just take what does and leave the rest. Happy New Year. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment, and I will focus the camera in as soon as I have the cards uh, laid out. Okay, so again, this is for January 2018. Uh, the time is fluid, so this could be ha this is being recorded in December. So this could be happening now. It could be happening in January. It could be happening, you know, in February because time is fluid. However, it resonates with you. <laughs> I have to tell you, the basis of this reading is about speaking your truth. It appears that this month you are being offered a. Um, a gift from above and it's a gift of clarity it's a gift of the truth it feels like you know you're you're something has come about that is opening your eyes okay it's like all of a sudden you get this wake-up call that changes everything and it feels like you know you may feel stuck you're gonna you're gonna receive this truth and you may feel like oh my god what am I gonna do with it now now I've got it how am I gonna handle this I'm I see that uh, you know you have a lot of strength you have a lot of uh, perseverance here you know you have a lot of, lot of knowledge and it looks to me like you're starting a new chapter that like you should celebrate your success whatever has come out is bringing you a new chapter okay a new phase in your life you've learned a lesson this clarity that has just woke you up has has come into your life has has completed a lesson that you needed to learn maybe it has to do with a relationship uh you know maybe you weren't feeling loved or there was some discontentment and maybe you know that's come to an end now i feel like um you know we do have uh independence here so i'm not sure what that means many of you may be becoming independent this month january 2018 2018 it feels like it could be a month of independence you know where you are really following your own path all right you're broadening your horizons you're moving forward you're building a new foundation you are forgiving more than ever. I see forgiveness here. I feel like, you know, there's no, you're moving forward. This is a month of action for you. You, okay, a lot of stuff is happening at once. Okay, you're receiving some clarity. You're receiving some truth. Your eyes are opening. You're no longer being stuck in a situation. It's like you're moving on from it. You've persevered, you've learned a lot, one lesson has been completed, it's time to move on to another one. I feel like, you know, you could be traveling, uh, scheduling travel, many of you may co be contemplating moving, either way, you are definitely contemplating changing your whole life, okay? It is January 2018 after all, and I feel like a very hard lesson was learned in 2017. And now you can really celebrate the end of it, okay? This lesson has been learned. It's over. It's time to move on to something new. And I feel like you guys are moving on. You're looking at something from a new perspective. And I feel like you. there's a lot of excitement to be had um, over this new perspective. 
I feel like the truth really needed to come out and it has. Um, you could be dealing with someone from your past, it could be a Taurus, it could be a Virgo or another Capricorn. Um, I feel like You know, there's, there's, you're moving on. You're moving on from something that no longer serves you. That where there was a lot of discontent, there probably was some um, lack of communication, lack of wish fulfillment, lack of love, and perhaps now you've found love in a different direction. Okay, I do see an abundance of love coming for you this month, like a lot of it. So this month is a wake up call that brings you in some love all right one door is closing and another door is open and at this door is the the door that's closing is the door of of doubt the door of fear i feel like you're letting that's part of your wake up call you're letting it go it's like you know what i am so done with this i'm not going to stay stuck here anymore i'm going to move on this one because where you were at, there was no growth, okay? <laughs> you knew there was no growth. So now you're taking action. It's like, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm taking action because I need to prosper. And part of the lesson here is, is taking care of yourself. And that's where the independence comes in. It's like, I am going to take care of me because I have to and that's part of the lesson not relying on somebody else to make your happiness I feel like you guys are making your own happiness you're taking there's no more uh, crying over spilled milk or crying over a loss or staying stuck in a situation that doesn't serve you it's like I'm moving on and I'm happy about it see ya you know that kind of thing I feel like you know there's definitely some karma here um, and I think that many of you are just, you've learned something really, really big. I think a secret has been revealed that rocked your world, okay? For somebody who's watching this, a secret has been revealed that, you know, has changed everything. And now you're like, you know what? I have to do what's right for me. I have to. So I'm going to take action. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to procrastinate. I'm going to look at this from the best possible scenario. I'm not going to cry over anything. I'm going to be happy. And I see that you are happy. And perhaps you're even giving love to somebody else. I see love here. Either somebody is loving you or you are loving them or even both. Okay. There is love to be had this month. But I do see doors are closing. We have these nines, and nines are about closure. I think that one door is closing, and probably a new door is opening where you are going to be much happier. All right, so we do have the Wheel of Fortune here. Good luck is coming. All right. When you have good luck is on its way, a change of course, whatever happened was bringing you closer to your life's purpose. And now you're here. This is it's, it's your time. It's your lucky break. It's like, you know, you persevered. You overcame this, you know, you your strength, your courage, your confidence, your um, willpower, your discipline and your uh, your ability to master your emotions is really paying off it is I think there was a period of time where you were stagnant and that's where you know you weren't feeling loved I think this was towards the end of 2017 where you know there was a lack of love there was discontentment you were looking for something more somebody wasn't <coughs> giving you attention you know somebody wasn't paying attention to you they weren't offering you the support that you needed they weren't nurturing the relationship. They weren't reciprocating. You know, perhaps they were withdrawn from you and it really cut you down. And I think now you're like, you know what? If you don't want this, I'm, I'm just going to take care of myself. And I think because you, you're not going to cry over this loss anymore. I think January 2018 is a big wake-up call. You can celebrate your success the end of this difficult time that you've been going through and celebrate your success because I see that there's a lot of success here 
because you guys are a, a I'm sorry, I have a throat problem. You guys um, are mastering your emotions pretty darn well. And you're, you're shaping your destiny. It's like you're taking it in your own hands. This month, I, you know, I don't feel like there's any procrastination. It's like, you know what? I'm going for it. Things are happening. All right? Um, I think that many of you have lacked some faith. You've lacked faith. You've lacked trust. You've lacked trust in yourself, faith in yourself. You know, um, I think you may have thought that, you know, you weren't worthy. You know what I mean? But that's not the case. I think that if you thought that, it didn't last, okay? Because it's, you're at a point now where you're not going to quit. You're going to keep going. And it doesn't matter what anybody says. It doesn't matter what anybody says. I'm going to be happy, okay? So this is a month of change, uh, change in course, okay? I see that. I mean, with with the wheel card in the in the world card, there's there's completions here. Okay, one cycle of your life is over. One phase, something that taught you something really really big, and it has to do with you <coughs> following yourself. You know, believing in yourself, uh, doing what's right for you. All right. I think that in the past you were. Um, being taken advantage of in some way you know you were giving the love you were giving the uh, you know you were trying to build a foundation with somebody you know but somebody wasn't their emotions were out of whack and it wasn't yours okay you were trying to build you were trying to do this and you were trying to do that but somebody wasn't reciprocating it feels like their emotions their lack of ability to master their emotions was bringing you down, okay? And I think now you've reached a point where I can't, you know, you're cutting the cord. I think a cord is being cut. The truth is coming out. Um, and for many of you, there's a new love. There's either a reconciliation or a new love or a fresh start of some sort um, after a period of discontentment. Um, and I think this is all happening very, very fast for you. I see that changes are happening fast. Things are completing and, um, it may even be a little overwhelming at times, but I think that you have the ability to, to let it go very, very quickly, even though this five of cups is here and it says that you may cry over a loss. I don't feel like that crying over a loss is is very prominent. I don't. I, th I think that that is in the past. I feel like that is leaving you. I think there's no more crying over a loss. No more staying stuck in something that didn't work out. I see that you're, you're really moving on. The time is now. That's what I see. Right now, you're living in the now. It's like, I am not going to be stuck here any longer. It is time for me to move on and to be happy. So you're taking your future into your own hands. And because you're doing that, I believe the wheel is spinning in your favor. Okay? I, whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. I see good fortune. I see good luck. I see love. I see happiness. I see building a, a uh, new foundation. I feel like a secret has come out that has really opened your eyes and made you decide what you need to do, what you want to do. I see an awakening. Okay? Many of you are going through a wake, an awakening that is shaping the next phase of your life, okay? Well, that's what I see. Looks really good. No sitting back and waiting for 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 nothing to happen. It's like you this is a month of action. I'm taking action in regards to my happiness, in regards to my life. I'm going to take action. I'm not going to stay stuck here in this sad sorry state of mind that whoever you whatever's going on whatever situation there was a sad story that you were stuck in that you're not going to be it's like i'm not staying in this sad story any longer it's like you're taking action it's 
like the sad story is coming to an end and it's because of you. Oh my gosh, that is perfect card. <laughs> and I have a cold, so that's why I've been putting the readings off. So I do apologize. I was meant to do these readings a couple of days ago, but I have a head cold. Ooh. <clears throat> Fresh air. Your body needs refreshment from oxygenate, oxygenated air generated by grass, trees, plants, and flowers. Spend time outside today as near to Mother Nature's cradle as possible. Open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well. I have to tell you, this also signifies a fresh start. So many, and I see fresh star all over the place. This is a beginning of a wonderful year for you. When the when January turns out like this, I can see that you're you're you're, you're going to have a good year, okay? Because I see new beginnings, new starts, new love, new uh, a new awakening, you know, new growth. Um, good luck is on its way. You know, I think that you guys are leaving behind something that was weighing you down. You know, I think there was a lack of, of, of a future in the past. You know, whatever was going in the past, there was no future and you come to this realization that there isn't and you move on. I see a fresh start. From Archangel Michael, forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. And that's a big one, big one. I feel like there's some kind of manipulation here where somebody has, uh, <laughs> blaming you for everything it's all your fault and I see that clearly and you're like oh hell no you know and before you weren't before you know towards the end of 2017 I think you were starting to believe that it was your fault but I think in January you get this wake-up call you get this epiphany and you're like hell no this ain't all my fault okay so that's kind of what it's like forgive yourself you've done nothing wrong I ask that you help me let go of self-blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear towards others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. So this is what it is. It's a time to forgive yourself you haven't done anything wrong, despite what anybody says. If somebody is pointing the finger at you, it's genuinely, genuinely, generally, see, I can't, my nose is so stuffed. It's generally them, okay? If they're pointing the finger at you, most of the time it's them. And I think that's what's happening. It's, and like I said, manipulation earlier, I believe that somebody has, you know, been trying to blame everything on you and you finally come to this awareness, this wake up call that says, oh, no, uh, -uh. that's not true. I can't, I'm not going to stay stuck in this situation anymore. And I see because you do that, you know, you take action and you put yourself first, you know, the universe rewards you for that you know because you put yourself first you get rewarded for that you do when you can love yourself that much and it's not ego and I don't care what anybody says when you can love yourself enough to put yourself first and to realize what you're worth you will be rewarded anyway that's what I have for you Capricorn for the month of January I'm sorry um, about my head cold and the, and the, you know, the rest of that. I will talk to you later.